Now that Egypt's first democratically elected leader has been removed from power, analysts from around the world have begun to wonder what's next for Egyptian democracy. In his address to the country, General Abdul Fattah al-Sisi said the military's goal was to make Egyptian politics more open and democratic. A military coup would mean a full takeover by the Egyptian army, but military leaders have said they don't want the power itself and have been careful to avoid calling the move a coup. It is definitely not, not military coup at all. It is uh, uh, the will of the Egyptians uh, who are supported by the army. But as Egyptians continued celebrating in the streets, reports started rolling in that concerned many Western observers. Like this post from Al Jazeera saying a little after 1 a.m., their Egypt service was forcibly shut down. Now we're seeing security forces storming the building during a live broadcast and arresting the presenters, the guests, and the producers. And Al Jazeera isn't alone. Egyptian newspaper Aram Online reports one Muslim Brotherhood-owned TV station and at least two other Islamist-backed stations were also shut down. Military forces are also reportedly targeting political leaders. In the hours after Morsi was overthrown, reports came out the head and deputy of the Muslim Brotherhood party had been arrested. So what does it all mean? Much of that depends on whether the military stays true to its word. But a Harvard Law School professor says the cheering crowds should be careful that the rule of law doesn't get replaced by the rule of mob. You might think that replacing an unpopular Islamist leader with a secular judge is a victory for democracy. It isn't. In a functioning democracy, there is an orderly constitutional process for protesting and removing a leader. But another law professor cited by American Outlets Wednesday, this one from Georgetown University, has a different take, saying it was the Muslim Brotherhood that sidestepped the rule of law and was properly punished for it by the public. The Egyptian people have proved extraordinarily adept students of democracy. It's true that deposing an elected president after just one year in office is hardly ideal, but given the alternatives, the Egyptian people acted wisely. The situation is still changing quickly in the country, and while the Muslim Brotherhood has said it won't respond to the military's actions with violence, the U.S. has ordered all non-essential embassy personnel to leave the country. For Newsy, I'm Christian Bryant, Multiple Sources, A Broader View.